Josh Spoon here, beat maker, producer, live performer, and I've noticed there's a lot of Max for Live patches out there, but not too many people showing you how to use them and reviewing them. So I figured I would make a couple of videos on some of the Max for Live patches that I really enjoy. Today I'm going to be demoing Gans Graph Mod X. This device is a quick and easy way to add visuals to your stage performance. I wouldn't say it replaces a VJ, but if you don't have one, it's probably one of the easiest and quickest ways to get visuals out of Ableton Live. Okay, let's see how it works. We'll just start here at the top left. There's the on and off button, which is pretty self-explanatory. There's color, so it does black and white or color. Uh, frame rate meter right there, so you know how many frames you're putting out. Then on the next row on the left, you have shape, which gives you quite a few shape options. There's sphere torus, cylinder, open cylinder, cube, open cube, plane, and circle. Another cool feature that's in here is the mouse X and Y. Now the mouse X rotates 360 degrees on the Y axis, meaning it doesn't move on its X axis, but rotates around it. Y is the same just with the y-axis that gives you the ability to rotate the shapes in space so in the next row we have particles which are the parts that make up the shape there are many different types of particles in this drop down that allows you to create many different shapes and animations to me distance is a little tricky i think the parameter depends on your shape and your particles Sometimes it looks like distance is the distance between some of the points and the spacing between lines. So you could play with it and you will find out a good balance that works for you for your visualizations. Slide down as well seems a little tricky. The responsiveness of the visuals seem to change depending on the audio, which can make for some cool broken shapes if it tries to draw really, really fast. I really like this device. I used it the other day for a Space Circus show. I actually used my MacBook Pro's built-in microphone to pick up the audio from everybody else's performance. And I used it directly in my live set as well. And I have a 2012 13-inch MacBook Pro. So you can use this in performances pretty easily without worry, probably depending on what other effects and things like that you have in your set, but it's pretty solid. I really like this device. I give it four stars. I think uh, I'd probably give it five if they put some really detailed descriptions for the distance and the slide down and further explain a little bit how you can generate different shapes but it is fun to be able to not exactly know everything that's going on be able to just experiment that's what's really cool about ableton live and also max for live i think the best thing for most people to do is put this inside of a rack and set bounds so that you're able to get the best visual settings for your performance if you put multiple versions of this device on your track, you'll be able to have them all in one window and manipulating all together at the same time. It's pretty cool. I don't know if it's a bug for them, but it's pretty cool. I like it. So check it out. There's a download link right below, and there's also a download link for a rack that I made for this as well. Keep experimenting, mess around with it. This is Josh Spoon doing M4L Reviews. 